Minister KG Fuya, thank you so much for being with us today. Let me start with a question about your uh, visit to Washington, D.C. What is the single most important goal of your visit to Washington, D.C. this time? Uh, first, I'd like to mention that uh, I came here this time as a minister in dealing with the abduction issue by North Korea. So my um, most important purpose is publicize the importance of the issues the U.S. people. So uh, I'd like to raise awareness among uh, the people, among the government, among the people in politics, in order to solidify our collaborations and uh, in order to work together in order to solve these issues. That is why we are hosting this event for the first time as the Japanese government. And we just held this symposium in Washington today, and tomorrow we are doing the same symposium in New York. North Korea has been insisting um, that the Japanese abduction issues had been resolved back in 2002. Uh, then Prime Minister uh, Junichiro Koizumi met with the North Korean leader Kim Jong-il. Um, however, Japanese government still consider this open issue. What specific actions does the Japanese government want from North Korea? First, I'd like to mention that the only five people returned to Japan in 2002. At that time, North Korean government stated that uh, there were eight more, but uh, those, those people had been dead. And uh, they returned the bones of some of the people they promoted. Uh, they insisted that uh, they uh, insisted that have been dead. But uh, uh, in Japan, we uh, analyzed the bones and uh, concluded that the DNAs of the bones were not consistent with, the, with those of the victims. And uh, also, the death certificate that had been sent to Japan from North Korea had been falsified. It is clear. So um, since North Korean leaders were lying to Japan at the time, uh, we cannot say that uh, the problem has been resolved. And, uh, we believe that uh, this is a firm evidence that the uh, rest of the people are still surviving in North Korea. You, you are newly uh, appointed by uh, Prime Minister Shinzo Abe to be in charge of abduction issue. Uh, what is the Abe administration's policy and approach toward the, uh, the abduction issue, and how is it different from those of uh, previous administration in Japan? Hi. First, I'd like to mention the personal commitment of Mr. Abe. Before he uh, took office, uh, he was the one who started to deal with this abduction issue uh, for the first time in the, as a diet member. So it's one of the reasons uh, he uh, raised this issue as the most important. Uh, and at one of the press, press conferences he attended, uh, he clearly stated that uh, he is committed to resolve this uh, issue uh, while he is in office. And for that purpose, he does a uh, nationwide structure to deal with this problem. Uh, so uh, the most important thing is to uh, make a uh, concerted nationwide effort towards uh, the, the resolution of this problem. The difference um, compared to the previous, uh, previous administration is a strong uh, concerted commitment and to work together uh, in order to solve this problem. Uh, I myself, as a minister, to deal with this abduction issue. And in addition to myself, uh, also the foreign ministers and all other government members from the major majority parties are committed to work together with Mr. Abe to solve this problem. This is a big difference. I believe uh, this will form a strong message against North Korea. I believe they will receive the message that uh, until we can solve this problem, North Korea will not receive any support from Japan. And related to um, North Korea's uh, nuclear and missile threat, um, I'd like to ask you about this. In, in, the, in, the, 
in the past, Japan had um, pursued the abduction issue as the core of Japan's negotiation, uh, negotiation position in six-party talks. Um, this is a very big if, but if uh, six-party resumes and restarts, uh, will Japan again pursue a, a similar approach, or will Japan um, separate this issue, abduction issue, as a pure humanitarian issue from other issues? Such as a nuclear issue. According to the official stance of the Japanese government, uh, the issues involving uh, abduction, nuclear power, and missiles must be uh, dealt with uh, as a series of the same. As I mentioned during the symposium, uh, that uh, the Japan is dealing with the abduction issues. Well, this is an also, this is also an issue with the uh, uh, thirteen other countries. But since Japan has actual victims uh, in uh, in its citizens, I think uh, we should take the leadership in um, in working for the the resolution of this problem. And the uh, uh, United States uh, also uh, s made a statement that, that they are clearly committed to help Japan in this effort. Um, and uh, we, uh, we heard the, uh, the statement of firm commitment from very high levels, including Mr. Kerry. And so uh, they are willing to work together with Japan. And one more point is that uh, in case uh, we resumed uh, the collaboration with six countries, um, still, uh, since Japan has victims of the, uh, victims of the abductions by North Korea, we should take the leadership in our, in our concerted efforts to resolve this abduction issue. And uh, I believe other countries will support Japan in this, in this manner. I'd like to give you a follow-up question on that. Does that mean that the outside of the six-party talk, uh, is Japan willing to hold a bilateral talk just between Japan and North Korea on this issue, abduction issue, being separated from the nuclear and other issues? First, I'd like to mention that uh, it is important for the Japanese government to have a comprehensive, uh, inclusive strategy to solve all these three issues uh, surrounding uh, abduction, uh, missiles, and nuclear power. Uh, but uh, since abduction is an um, issue that is particular to uh, the people of Japan, uh, it is uh, not sure for us to have a negotiation to talk, uh, talk exclusively about the abduction issues with North Korea, provided that North Korea is willing to open up. But that doesn't mean, uh, it is possible, but that doesn't mean that uh, we are trying to separate this abduction issue with, uh, from other two major issues, which are nuclear power and missiles. Thank you so much for your time today with us. Thank you.